Hello everybody. Can't wait to get started. Today we're going to have to try and figure out how does it end on a cover stitch. So we're just going to wait a second or two to get some people on board. Give it a second for people to put that coffee down and make sure your computer is alive or your phone is awake and we can start teaching. Can't wait to have everybody. We're going to get started in just a second here. Okay, here we are. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm Catherine from the Sewing Studio Fabric Superstore in the Sewing Studio at Lady Lake. Welcome aboard. Okay, so for today's topic, we're going to talk about how does it all end on a cover stitch. So with a cover stitch machine, you are using that on the hems of t-shirts um, and on sleeves and hems, maxi dresses, anything with a knit. That's where you have the two threads on one side. And then when you flip it over, the looper does all these other little threads underneath. So this is an example of a cover stitch. I'll get here to a solid spot. So on a cover stitch, you've got your two needle threads on one side, and then when you flip it over, you've got your loopiness there underneath, okay? That's a cover stitch. So how do you end that appropriately without having a big rat's nest and a mess underneath everything that you're doing? Well, there's actually a pretty simple little trick. So let me show you how it works. So I've got my fabric folded, and I've got my left and my center needle positions set up for chain. And actually on the Baby Lock Triumph on the foot, there are notches which show you exactly where those two needle threads are going to land. So you're trying to aim the edge of your fabric under those so that it covers. Okay, so I've got my threads ready to get started and all you do is get started. Okay, so when I come to the end of what I want to do or I've wrapped around the end of my seam, I make sure my needles are in the down position. I'm going to lift up my foot to release the thread so that I can give myself a little bit of extra slack. Now I'm gonna put my foot back down and raise my needles up out of my fabric. Okay, from here, underneath your needles, you're going to pull that slack forward. Once you've done that, grab a hold of it, snip the, from below where your scissors are, that leaves me, and you can actually see down here, there's two tails poking up. All I have to do now is lift my foot, and when I pull my fabric to the right, it actually pulls those threads underneath the fabric. So there you can see I've got all three threads pulled underneath. Now, when you look at the front of it, I'm going to come back over here. It has, there's nothing there. It's nice and clean because it has been pulled down to the bottom side. So let's do that one more time, okay? Load your fabric, put your foot down. You'll cover stitch. When you come to the end, leave your needles in the down position, lift your foot to give yourself a, a slack on your thread. So give yourself some slack, put your foot down, Lift your needles up out of your fabric. Now you're going to get your thread pulled forward a little bit, your slack pulled forward. At that point, you're going to use your scissors down here by your foot, snip your needle threads, lift your foot, and pull it out to the left, and it pulls those threads underneath. Okay? So there they are held underneath. Now let me show you that in the round so you can have a real world scenario on the sleeve or a hem of a shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna load my fabric up underneath. All right. So this will take a second or two. I'm just gonna surge around this armhole. I should say cover. Cover around this armhole. Okay, here I am coming close to where I'm going to end my seam. So let me snip my entry threads. I'm aiming for 
aiming for the start point to line up with where I want it to end. Overlap just a little bit. And you got to stop with the needles in the down position. Okay. Lift your foot. Slack your thread. Put your foot back down. Get your needles up out of there. Pull your thread forward. Give it a snip from down below. Lift your foot. And there it has pulled your threads to the back. So let me show you up close. I've got all of my starting threads there at the back. And if you look at the front, it's nice and finished and pulled down. So my starting threads are there at the back. They've been pulled down underneath and my front looks nice and clean. So that's how you do your cover stitch at the end. That's a nice way to have that nice professional finish. So I hope you try this. It's much easier than I thought it was going to be. I never could figure out how to get to the end in life and in my cover stitch. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You can always visit us on our website, www.sewing.net, on our Facebook pages, The Sewing Studio Fabric Superstore or The Sewing Studio at Lady Lake. And we're also on YouTube. Just look for The Sewing Studio Fabric Superstore. It's the big purple dot. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody, and have a great day.